this is Josh Taylor with Trade Advisor Pro, and I want to thank you for checking out our video today. Now, before we get started with today's free Forex training video, I want to give you a chance to pause this video right now and go to our website. Trade Advisor Pro offers you free Forex training, free Forex training videos, and trade alerts. And folks, you do not want to miss our trade alerts. We send out a bunch of trade alerts every month that are top rated in the industry. We send you our exact trades right to your inbox. Pause the video now. Go to tradeadvisorpro.com forward slash free. And all you have to do is register and then come back to this video and we'll be sending a lot more goodies to help you with your Forex trading. Enjoy today's training video. Now as the market opened today, we had a huge gap. Um, in fact, holy smoke, yeah, price, it gapped down like 20 pips when the, when the market opened. So, yeah, I'm going to be looking to take a, a I'd be, if I was going to enter this trade, I would be looking to buy this thing at 192.20 range, keep my stops in here, <clears throat> expecting that the fact that we are kind of on an upswing again on this thing, we are in a retracement, and that we, we would see this thing at least move back up off these key levels. All right, so let's go to the next chart. Let's get the dollar yen. Uh, dollar yen, let's... <coughs> These yen pairs have been going up like crazy. And we've taken a tremendous amount of opportunities um, off of these, <coughs> this pair. This one in the Aussie yen over the last few months have done very, very well with it. Um, so the problem is here is when, when momentum is really pushing behind a trade, especially on these yen crosses, they can make a downturn move very, very quickly. You can see right here, this is about a 300 pip drop. Um, <coughs> excuse me, in one day, so you don't want to be in the wrong direction on that. And so we're waiting for these pullbacks. And we did take a, a buy position when, the, when this pullback hit. And we took some pips off of that. We should have stayed in longer. But now we have to wait for a retracement. We had to wait for a key level where price could pull back potentially and take us into a good buy position. Now, you can see here on the daily chart that this 96.45 was a nice resistance point. Okay. Price came back. Finally, when it did break through, when it came back and retested, so resistance became the new support, and price is continuing its way upward. Now, we are getting a hesitation <coughs> right up in this level here. Let me draw another line. Right at, right at the 100 mark, actually, right below the 100 mark, uh, where price is right up there right now, <coughs> and we could have price break back straight up, um, but you know, I'm not just going to take a position and start buying when price could literally hit this and reject back off it again. So I'm going to be saying 96.50 is a good opportunity to be taking a, a buy position based on what we're looking at right here. And um, <clears throat> because we would expect price, to, if, if if price comes down, and that's always the, the game that you need to understand is if price would come all the way back down to 96.45, that this would be a level we would could see a turnaround at and a continued upward of this trend. We have to have a significant enough pullback to do that. <clears throat> and um, a 300 pip pullback obviously could happen in one day, but most likely it's going to take about a week. So that's where I would actually be put in a buy position if I was to buy that pair. Let's go look at the next pair we have in here. <clears throat> Dollar Canadian. This, this pair has been up and down like a roller coaster. Not making a lot of sense. <clears throat> on, the, on the daily chart, it does look like it is working its way up, but it's working its way up in a very <coughs> choppy manner that I don't particularly like. Um, we do see that price has held, kept a nice base here around the 1.25 uh, range, and um, but unfortunately, it just keeps chopping and bouncing and breaking down. So right now, I'm pretty much staying on the dollar Canadian. Let's go to the Aussie dollar, US dollar. Folks, I hope you enjoyed today's training video. If you have not done so already, stop this video now and go to tradeadvisorpro.com forward slash free and register absolutely free for free Forex training, free Forex training videos, and free Forex trading alerts directly to your inbox. Go to the website right now and register for free. All kinds of goodies for you. Thanks a lot.